لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد سيد الأولين والآخرين وعلى آله وصحابته والتابعين لهم بإحسان الله بالدين سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم من دواة الصلاة وانتهينا فصل وخمس صلوات فرض عين وهي كفاية لميت دون مين وروضه التكفير أربع عن دعاء ونية سلام سر تبع وكالصلاة الغسل, الغسل دفن وكفن وتر كسوف عيد استسقى سنا فجر رغيبة وتقضى للزوال والفرض يقضى أبدا وبالتوال ودب نفل مطلقا وأكد تحية ضحى تراوح تلت وقبل وتر مهل ظهر عصري وبعد مغرب ومعروف بصل وخمس صلوات فرض عين يعني أن الصلوات لا يفرض منهن على الصحيح عند الجمهور إلا خمس صلوات أما الوتر فليس فرضا ولا واجبا عند الجمهور خلافا لأبي حنيفة خمس صلوات في اليوم والليلة كما في الحديث الصحيح فرض عين وهي يعني الصلاة كفاية لميت دون مين دون كذب. All praise is due to Allah may his peace and blessings be upon his prophet Muhammad and his family and companions and followers until the day of judgment. Glory be to you O Allah we have no knowledge except that which you have taught us. Indeed, you are the all-knowing and the all-wise. We had concluded the last uh, chapter about the uh, about the uh, uh, things that are disliked uh, in the prayer, such as, and they concluded with uh, with, with uh, putting the fingers together, popping the fingers, cracking the fingers, and so on. Uh, now, uh, closing the eyes. Now, uh, we have reached the chapter of Fard Ain and Fard Al Kifaya, uh, and uh, it talks about the first thing. It says the first there are five prayers. Uh, that are, are, are obligatory and um, uh, uh, the five prayers are obligatory and as far as uh, and as far as the uh, the janaza prayer it is a fard kifaya which means that a certain people have to do it but if nobody does it then the obligation is not fulfilled فروضها التكبير يعني أن صلاة الميت فروضها التكبير أربعا تكبيرة الإحرام والدعاء بعد ذلك والتكبيرة الثانية والثالثة والرابعة أربعا دعاء بين كل تكبيرتين ويكفي قول الإنسان اللهم اغفر له وارحمه أو اللهم اغفر لها وارحمه لكن دعاء بهرارة أفضل and uh, it mentions the obligatory acts of uh, of the of the mm-hmm. janaza prayer and uh, so it is required it is obligatory in the janaza prayer uh, to say the allahu akbar four times and to make dua between the takbiras and the spaces between the takbiras uh, and to make the dua, O oh Allah, forgive him and grant him mercy, Allahumma khir lahu arham. This is uh, sufficient. <laughs> this is sufficient, uh, uh, but then there's a lengthier dua that is uh, uh, preferred. Dua wa bihararatuh wa al-afdal, Allahumma innahu abduka wa ibn abdika wa ibn amatika kana yashhadu an la ilaha illa anta wa anna muhammadan abduka wa rasooluka wa anta a'lamu bih. Allahumma in kana muhsinan fazji ihsani إن كان مسيئا فتجاوز عن سجياته اللهم لا تحرمنا أجره ولا تفتنا بعده إن كان رجلا 
إن كانت امرأة يؤني اللهم إنها أمتك وابن بنات أمتك بنات عبدك كانت تشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت وأن محمد عبدك وأنت أعلم عبدك ورسولك وأنت أعلم بها اللهم إن كانت محسنة فزد في إحسانها وإن كانت مسيئة فتجاوز عن سجياتها اللهم لا تحرمنا أدرها ولا تفتنا بعدها وإن كان هنين تقول اللهم إنه ما عبداك وإن كانوا جماعة اللهم إنهم عبيدك وأبناء عبيدك وإن كنا إناثا فقل اللهم إنهن إماؤك فلتكن جملة الدعاء كالصلة على ضمير اللائق مشتملة and uh, this dua that uh, the Sheikh mentioned, there's dua different. <coughs> the dua that is mentioned by Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu, narrated by him, uh, and it differs uh, whether the person is one man or you know, two men or um, a, a woman or multiple multiple women, and so on. Uh, that the dua differs as far as you're saying, "Oh Allah, forgive him, forgive her, forgive them," and the di- them for for females is different uh, if it's exclusively females. And so on, uh, the, this dua should be learned, but it's not obligatory. So then uh, it mentions that the next obligation is the intention that a person must intend that they're praying uh, for the deceased and then the salam at the end which, which is uh, uh, obligatory and the, to say it silent, silently is, is preferred and for the Imam, he should say it only, uh, not too loud, he should say it silently, but only loud enough for the people behind him to hear him so the people behind them can follow as well. لو غسلناه غسلة واحدة جميعا بالماء المطلق كفى هذا هو الفرض وأما الثانية والثالثة فكل منهما ندب وكفى معناها بأن يستر جميع الميت سواء كان رجلا أو امرأة بثوب يعم جميع البدن فهذا واجب أيضا وكون الملابس ثلاثة أو غير ذلك إنما هو ندب المهم شيء يكفي جميع بدنه وأماكن العورة للميت واجب غسل الجميع ويجعل على يده شيئا لا يغسل بدنه فبالماء يجعل لف بالماء يعني يغسل جميع البدن بالماء المطلق يعني فال فال فالدلك ليس الدلك واجب نعم كما المذهب مالك الدلك واجب لكن يجعل على يجعل على يده خرقة حتى لا يصل إلى and then uh, as the prayer is obligatory so is the washing of the dead the, <laughs> the entire body of the dead person uh, and the preferred is three times but the obligation is to do so once uh, and also to dress them uh, 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 with um, <laughs> Uh, th- that the whole body should be covered. Um, and what is uh, oblig- what is beyond that, as far as uh, details, is uh, is is uh, preferred and not required. وترو سنة هذا والصحيح عند جمهور الأمة خلاف اليابي حنيفة رحمه الله تعالى والكسوف صلاة يعني ذهاب ضوء الشمس ليس القمر إنما هو ند عيد عيد الأضحى وعيد الفطر الاستسقاء لجلب المطر سنة هذه أربعة and he mentions here uh, uh, four sunnah prayers to give them a uh, exception from the fard for the fard ayn or fard kifaya he says the witr prayer, which is uh, uh, preferred 
uh, and it is sunnah, it is a strong sunnah in every madhab, except in the Hanafi madhab, it goes to the level of even being wajib. wajib. And uh, the Salat al-Kusuf, which is the prayer of the eclipse, is also a sunnah, uh, and so is the Eid, and so is Al-Eid, la tatkun fardain, fardain kitayin. And then the Salat al-Istisqa, which is the rain prayer, these are all sunnahs. فجر رغيبته صلاة الفجر ليس معنى الفرض معناها الركعتان يعني ذلك الركعتين اللتين قبل صلاة الصبح بعد طلوع الفجر هذا رغيبة والفرق بين الرغيبة والسنة والندب أن الرغيبة مقام بين الندب والسنة رغيبة ما فيه رغب النبي لأجل ما فيه من الخير شبه يعني شيء رغب فيه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كثيرا فوق النبي ودون السنة and uh, the fajr, uh, meaning the two rak'ahs of uh, sunnah prayer before the subah prayer. Uh, just to clarify, we call the uh, the fajr, when we say fajr, we tend to uh, the fard morning prayer. But actually, the fajr is the two rak'ahs of sunnah before that morning prayer, which is called subah. Uh, after uh, Fajr, meaning the time of Fajr that has entered, meaning that the, that the sun has uh, begun, uh, reached a level where its light starts to emerge, but of course the sun is still be well below the horizon. Um, these two rakahs of Sunnah are uh, at such a level where they're called Raghiba, which is something that is strongly recommended, strongly desired, something that the Prophet has encouraged uh, heavily uh, for a person to pray before, and it goes to the level of. Above the, the level of being mandub. And people, some people have said that the Fajr prayer, the, the Fajr Sunnah, uh, is uh, a, a, a Sunnah. Uh, that, is a, uh, that is a Sunnah. Uh, the Fajr Sunnah is not the same as the Fajr Sunnah. It is not the same as the Fajr Sunnah. It is not the same as the Fajr Sunnah. It is not the same as the Fajr Sunnah. And uh, uh, as far as uh, uh, the Sunnah Mu'akkadah prayers, uh, none of them can be made up, uh, you know, once their time leaves or after their time, except for the, these <coughs> two rakahs of uh, the Fajr Sunnah, which are made up, or the Fajr Raghiba, which are made up, uh, which are allowed to be made up uh, as long as the Duha prayer has not come in. والفرض يقضى أبدا وبالتوالي يعني أن من عليه فرض يجب عليه أن يقضيه سواء تركه عمدا أو نسيانا يجب عليه أن يقضيه لا فرق بين العمد والنسيان خلافا لما يفتي به بعض الناس الآن من أن من ترك الفرض عمدا فقد كفر والعياذ بالله وأنه لا يجب عليه القضاء فهذه فتوى باطلة جدا فمن ترك الفرض عمدا بدون استحلال لا يكون كافرا وأنما هو فاسق ومن استحل ترك الفرض أو شيء من الدين الضروري هذا كفر مرتد الفرق بينهم ما واضح. so as far as the the fard the fard prayers <coughs> they are uh, required to be made up whether they are left uh, intentionally or uh, or forgetfully or unintentionally. yeah as far as uh, some people say today that oh you know you don't have to make up the fard prayers if you missed if you intentionally didn't pray the fard prayers. Because if you intentionally miss the fard prayers, then that makes you a disbeliever, and then you're re-entering into Islam, so you don't need to make up those prayers that you missed. And that's not correct. If a person leaves the prayers uh, without saying that they're not obligatory, that they just stop doing them, and then they will owe all of those prayers that they have uh, missed, and they will not enter into disbelief, they will enter into disobedience. <laughs> كذلك أيضا يجب القضاء بالترتيب إن كان عالما إن كان عارفا بالترتيب كمن ترك صلاة من الأمس ظهرا ومغربا ويعلم أن الظهر هي الأولى المغرب فيقضيهما على التوالي لكنه ليس شرطا. But as far as if a person uh, so if a person leaves some prayers and they know or if a person is making up prayers or remembering and during making up prayers if a person knows the order of the prayers that they made that they may have missed. Then they need to make the, up those prayers in the order. Like somebody knows I missed, you know, Dhuhr uh, and Asr yesterday. Then uh, they should, they must pray Dhuhr first. But if he does not do so, then his prayer will still be valid.
نعم ومن عليه القضاء يجب عليه يترك كل شيء من النوافل ما عدا الوتر والرغيبة والشفع والأعياد صلوات الأعياد وهكذا فقط لا يأتي بالركعات الأربع قبل الظهر ولا بعده ولا التراويح ولا ولا الضحى لا أي نفل so if a person يجب عليه أن يترك الجميع ويشتغل بالقضاء فلا يتنفل من عليه القضاء if a person owes years of prayers or owes some prayers that they have not made up, then they should not pray uh, uh, the uh, optional prayers, the mandub prayers. Uh, Except for the Witter prayer, Shafa uh, and Witter and the, the, the Eid prayers and such. Uh, or the Raghiba, which is the two rakahs uh, before Fajr, uh, before Subah. Uh, uh, or the uh, uh, the the kusuf and the sisqa, meaning the eclipse prayer and the rain prayer. Yes, uh, uh, those are the only exceptions. Uh, besides that, a person like the Dhuhr Sunnah and the Maghrib Sunnah, what's called Isha Sunnah, extra Tawheed and so on, then he must he must stop praying all those extra prayers and spend his time that would be spent doing those if he has time <coughs> and make up the fault prayers that he has missed. والأجر على ذلك أكثر بكثير جدا. and the reward for doing that is much greater than praying those extra prayers. أرى كثيرا من الناس يحب لا ينفصل مع هذه السنن وهذه التهجد وهذا هذا شهوة نفسية. النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم حديث حديث القص من رب العالمين قال أحب ما أحب ما تقرب إلي عبدي به بما افترضته عليه وكفى. That, uh, uh, that a person then, uh, you know, some people they say that, oh, but I love praying to Hajjud and I love praying these Sunnah prayers and so on. This is a person who is going, following his desires and he's doing it out of desire because if he knows what truly Allah valued, the Prophet ﷺ said that Allah said that uh, my slave does not come closer to me with anything better than that which I have made obligatory upon him. So the things that Allah loves the most. So the things that Allah loves most is uh, the things that Allah has made obligatory. So do the fault first before you do anything extra. And the scholars have said the scholars have said that there is two equal uh, ways of worship that you can do. One of them is appealing to your desires and the other one is not appealing to your desires. Uh, then do the one that is not appealing to your desires. Yeah. <laughs> خلاف النفس هو أصل كل خير منها النفس عن الهوى فإن الجنة هي المأوى. So go to go against the whims and the the, 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 the poem says says and, and 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 contradict the nafs and the shaytan and 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 and, and, and turn them away. Uh, so one should. And, and if they advise you with something that they make you feel that. That something is, uh, you know, better or, or uh, are advising you towards something, then accuse them. You know, don't trust them. Tell them, I don't trust you. So uh, uh, that all types of goodness become uh, unlocked when somebody, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, has a control over themselves, over their self. Yeah. <laughs> طلب العلم وقيامه بمصالح المسلمين إن كان قادرا على ذلك وبث الدعوة هذا يندب له أن يشغل وقاته بالنفل لما في الحديث ولا يزال عدي تقرب إلي بالنوافل حتى أحب نذيب نفل مطلقا لمن لم يشغل فرطه بالفرائض بالسنن وبخدمة المسلمين if, if, 
الذي أدى فرضه اللي أدى فرضه وما عنده شيء أهم من ذلك في تعليم العلم So as far as the uh, uh, the optional things and the extra prayers and the worship and so on, the things that are preferred that are mandub, then when should those be done? Those should be uh, fulfilled once a person has their fard already fulfilled and they don't have anything more important to do such as teaching knowledge or gaining their fard knowledge and so on. Uh, once the, uh, they're, they're, they don't have any of those things and they've already fulfilled their obligations and they have you know, now uh, availability to do something, then do your uh, uh, mandub things, do the preferred things. Uh, then do the, uh, a lot of nafil, uh, do a lot of preferred things because uh, the uh, 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 continuation of that hadith is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that uh, my servant does not continue and insist upon doing the nawafil, upon the nafil things, the extra supererogatory uh, acts of worship until I love him. So it, it causes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to love you additionally uh, on top of doing the, the fard. وكدت لكن نفل متفاوت المراتب فالنفل مطلقة مندوب في الوقت الذي يباح به النفل ولكن تؤكد التحية ما في الحديث الصحيح إذا دخل أحدكم المسجد فلا يجلس حتى يصلي ركعتين and even the nafil itself, it's a different levels. Uh, and uh, there's uh, one that was mentioned. There's one that is mentioned here that is a muakkad, that is a, a, you know a, a very highly affirmed uh, nafil, which is the two rakahs that one prays as tahiyat al masjid that the Prophet ﷺ said, if one of you enters the masjid, then they should not pray or talk, they should not sit or talk until they pray have prayed two rakahs. لا يجلس حتى يصلي ركعتين. He should not sit down until he prays two rakats. تحية الضحى وأقله ركعتان ووسطه ست وعلاه ثمانية وهنا عشر هذا مندوب أيضا الضحى بعد حل النافلة. شيخ مع تحية المسجد ماذا يفعل إذا كان في وقت الفراغ؟ يترك عنه تحية المسجد ليس مطلوبا بها. So as far as uh, the uh, the tahiyat al-masjid, the a person prays uh, when he enters the masjid, once he is in the forbidden times or the disliked times for prayer, such as between the asr, between, uh, asr and maghrib and between uh, fajr and uh, duha, then he must uh, uh, then he should not pray those two rakahs nafil of entering the masjid and if he wants to do something good to replace it then he should enter the masjid saying subhanallah alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu, wallahu akbar uh, four times and then uh, the uh, uh, and then the duha prayer should be prayed uh, also it is one of the uh, the higher level uh, nafil prayers and it should be at least two rakahs and then the middle is about six, and the higher amount is eight or twelve. Mm. <laughs> ركعتان وهنا عشر ركعتان بعد الوتر ثلاثة عشر كان مالك رحمه الله تعالى في آخر عمره يصليها في البيت أحد عشر ركعتان وإذا أتى إلى المسجد يصليها ثلاثة وعشرين حتى لا يخالف إجماع عمر وإذا كان في البيت يصليها كما كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يصلي في البيت لا يتجاوز أحد عشر ركعتان. So uh, as far as the tarawih. No. نعم. As far as the tarawih prayer. Then uh, it, it is also one of the stronger uh, nafil prayers to do, and it should be done four rakahs or six rakahs or eight rakahs. But the preferred is to do it uh, as a, a twenty-three uh, rakahs, uh, and that is um, a, a twenty uh, plus the uh, uh, plus the shafa and the witr, which would make it twenty-three, and uh, uh, that is what is preferred to do as tarawih. This is what Umar عنه, you know, did with the, with the Muslims and, uh, and this is what the Muslims have continued to do uh, afterwards. Uh, well, 
and if uh, it is also permissible to do a, a, a ten rakahs at home, and this is what Imam Malik did because the Prophet Sallallahu and the Ahl Bayt they were they said that the Prophet Sallallahu you know did not exceed. أكثر من كم عائشة رضي الله عنها قالت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ما صلى في رمضان ولا في غير حديث البخاري أكثر من 11 ركعة أكثر من رواية ثلاث 12 ركعة بعد رواية في ثلاث عشر ركعة. نوز عائشة رضي الله عنها هذا الحديث البخاري مسلم. إن حديث البخاري المسلم الذي فرصه سلم. ما زاد رمضان في غير. إن رمضان or outside of Ramadan praying at home of eleven ركعات or thirteen ركعات. بمالك عمل بذلك في بيته وإذا أتى للمسجد يصلي ثلاثة وعشرين. This is what Imam Malik did in his household, but if he prayed tarawih in the masjid, then he would pray it. حتى لا يخالف إجماع عمر لأن الإجماع أقوى من أحاديث الأحا. And he would do so because of the إجماع of عمر, and the إجماع is a stronger proof than. A singular hadith, even if it's authentic. جمع ما وجمع ممكن هذا يقال له عند العلماء عمل الدليلين جمع واجب ما تام أمكنه إذا كان الأمران يمكن الجمع بينهما هذا أحسن حتى يعمل الدليل في أمكنه الجمع بينهما في أحمل ذلك تكل أحد على ما كان في البيت وأحمل ثلاثة وعشرين إذا جاء إلى المسجد. So the scholars. بين الأدلة واجب ما تام أمكنه. There's a scholarly uh, principle that if, uh, there's a way to uh, bring, uh, uh, that you have two things that seem contradictory. If there's a way to reconcile them in which they do not contradict, then that's, that's generally the better approach. Like in this case, what Imam Malik did is if he prayed at home, then he would do the, the prayer that Aisha who knew the Prophet's prayer at home, said he prayed at home that he did not exceed 11 or 13. But if he prayed in the masjid, then he would do the, the method that uh, <laughs> Umar <laughs> Umar <laughs> Umar <laughs> and, and that the, the people had agreed upon uh, as the method during the time of Umar <laughs> So by this he was bringing, uh, giving each one of these, <laughs> he was uh, giving each one of the two proofs uh, their, their proper place. لتاني قبل الوتر الشفع هذا هذا أيضا مؤكد من الندب مثل ظهر العصر كذلك أيضا النافلة قبل الظهر وأقلها ركعة تاني وأفضلها أربع وكذلك بعد العصر مندوبة وبعد المغرب وبعد الظهر قبل الوتر يعني الشفع مثل ظهر قبل الظهر and he mentions also from the stronger نفلس is the and the one before Witr, which is the Shafi'a prayer, uh, and also Wa'ithkun Shafi'a, yani Ma'al Witr. Raka'atani, Mandubatani, Ula Fihima, Sabbih, Ba'da Al-Fatiha, Wa Thaniya, Ba'da Ha, Qul Ya Ayyuhal Kafir, Ha, Thani Al-Shafi'a, Wa Al-Witr Sunnah. Fa'yatruk Al- Yusallim Bainahuma Nadbin, Wa Jum'u Bainahuma Makroofi Min Al-Mal. So it is uh, here he mentions that the two rakahs basically before the witr, which is uh, the shafa' prayer, which a person prays. Uh, the, first, the, the, the preferred is to read in the first rakah, Sabih Isma Rabbik al Ala and Qul Ya al Kafirun in the second rakah, and then to do the salam after these two, uh, and this would be fulfilling this nafil. And then to pray the witr afterwards is a sunnah as we have uh, preceded. And to pray them as three rakahs together. This is disliked in the Maliki Madhab. Uh, as far as the Dhuhr uh, Sunnah, uh, 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 sorry, the Dhuhr uh, and Mandub prayer, the Dhuhr, uh, uh, this Nafil prayer, if to kun Arba. If Natani takfiya, takfiya, Arba ayat Abbad. Qabla wa ba'd. Qabla wa ba'd. So uh, to pray two before and two after is uh, suffices. And to pray four before and four after is better. Uh, <coughs> uh, that, uh, that the best uh, for the Asr prayer is to do four before it, but two before it would be fulfilling uh, this nafil. The Prophet said, May Allah have mercy on an individual who prays four rakahs before Asr. وبعد مغرب وأقله 
And then after Maghrib, uh, and the least is two, and the most and the best is six. And to pray a uh, plentiful nafil between Maghrib and Isha is something that has been established in many uh, hadiths. And, uh, and, الله أيضا نذبت مؤكدا نافلا جدا. And he uh, said. And again, uh, and he says over here, and after Zohar, uh, basically all of those nafils attached to the prayers are before them, before the Witr, before the Zohar and the Asr and Maghrib, and after is only after the Zohar here. <laughs> And there is a nafil that is associated with Aisha uh, uh, before it and after it as well. And and then the tahajjud prayer the tahajjud uh, prayer or the qiyam al-layl prayer which literally means to rise up from the, the sleep and, and, and to pray uh, which a, a requirement of it is to actually sleep and then wake up uh, so it has to be after some sleep at night uh, and then a person wakes up and no? uh, so it would be in the second half of the night to pray uh, any amount of rakahs two four whatever but then the best is the what was mentioned of the night prayer of the prophet uh, which was uh, 11 or 13 and this is a very strong uh, uh, nafil to the point that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that uh, the, uh, describing the righteous uh, believers that Allah said that their their sides they leave or they abandon uh, uh, their, their their resting places uh, uh, calling out to their Lord uh, calling out to their Lord in fear and in hope of, uh, and in hope of, uh, of, of goodness from him and uh, or seeking uh, goodness from him and and give it, and they give out of that which we have uh, uh, bestowed them uh, Allah says I know and self knows and no one knows the, uh, the, the extent of the of the coolness of the eyes of the great things that Allah has prepared for them as a reward for that which they used to do and what was mentioned in this verse that they used to do is this uh, the, this uh, tahajjud prayer and the charity and this is a uh, important to understand over here that these nafils are only to be done after a person has fulfilled their fard and has learned their fard and knows how to fulfill these things. Because if a person still has not learned their fard and they're busy doing something that is beneath the fard, then this is a disobedience uh, by the consensus of the scholars. And they're not only wasting their time, but they're uh, hurting themselves also. It is forbidden according to the Quran and the Sunnah and consensus. No.
وهذه ابتلاء ابتلى الله تعالى بعوامل المسلمين على اشتغالهم بالنوافل وبالتهجد وبالاذكار بدون علم هذا ابتلاء من الله تعالى and this is a great test. This is a great test that uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has tested people nowadays with, the general public that they go into, uh, you know, the extra nafil prayers and the dhikr and so on and tahajjud and all of this, and they still have not fulfilled their phone. الأذكار التي تلزمهم والصلوات التي تلزم المحاضرات الفارغة من تعليم فرض العين وتعليم العلم النافع. And the speakers today they are afflicted with the same problem that they uh, uh, have entered into speaking into preaching when they have not fulfilled the, their obligations and not taught even people their obligations. لا يعلمونهم العلم النافع لا يعلمونهم العلم النافع. They don't direct people and teach them the 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 what their obligations are. العلم النافع العلم النافع العلم النافع هو ما يلزمك يوميا هو ما يلزمك يوميا هو ما تطالب به في نفسك وفي اهلك وفي مجتمعك they don't teach people the beneficial knowledge which is the knowledge that is necessary to fulfill one's daily obligations to their self to their lord to their family and so on ومجتمعك and to the, to, the, to the public and to the... Alhamdulillah, yeah. Hassan ibn Khadim, Habibullah Ta'ala, said, the meetings in the time are for the Juhala, Adha, Adha, the meetings in the time are for the Juhala, Adha, Dawahi Al-Fitan, it is the greatest Dawahi Al-Fitan. And Muhammad Hassan, uh, this is one of the greatest scholars in the time. Uh, from the most knowledgeable scholars today in Mauritania, he said that the speakers, uh, that the speeches uh, uh, have led. Uh, uh, that is the is the greatest source of uh, fitna for the uh, uh, for the people. بها الفتاة الفتيان والشباب الشباب والشابات يخرجون في وقت واحد ويجتمعون في وقت واحد فيجتمع البعض بالبعض وكل بها عن فرض عن عن مهم الأحكام شغل يتكلم في ما ليس تحته عمل هذا هو القائل. He mentioned that these become just gatherings where young men and women go out and they are a source of fitna for each other. And they're all just going to the same place and gathering uh, and, and being a source of fitna for each other. And, and, e and he said even the speeches about things that are in regard to rulings and things that, that, that aren't even practical or applicable directly to the people. And if he had come to America, he would have seen that this is... Uh, that, that he would have seen the real uh, problem uh, because what he saw in Mauritania is only a small, a small, small bit of the, the, the problem that exists. <coughs> and here truly it is the misguiding uh, uh, temptations. وأقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا فما كنا لنهتدي لولا ان هدانا الله لقد جاءت رسل ربنا بالحق لقد جاءت رسل ربنا بالحق لقد جاءت رسل ربنا بالحق اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا محمد حبيب الحق وعلى اله وصحبه وكل من تبعه بالحق يا ارحم الراحمين يا ارحم الراحمين يا ذا الجلال والاكرام يا ذا الجلال والاكرام يا ذا الجلال والاكرام يا ذا الجلال والاكرام اسالك يا ذا الجلال والاكرام ان تستجيب لنا دعوتنا وان تعطينا رغبتنا وان تغنينا عن من اغنيته عنا من خطيئه اللهم اصلح لي ديني الذي هو عصمه امري 
واصلح لي دنياي التي فيها معاشي واصلح لي اخرتي التي فيها مقالبي اللهم اصلح لنا ديننا الذي هو عصمة امورنا واصلح لنا دنيانا التي فيها معاشنا واصلح لنا اخرتنا التي اليها منقلبنا ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار ربنا اتنا من لدنك رحمه ربنا اتنا من لدنك رحمه ربنا اتنا من لدنك رحمه وهجي لنا من امرنا رشدا وهجي لنا من امرنا رشدا وهجي لنا من امرنا رشدا وما قضيت علينا من قضاء فاجعل عاقبته لنا رشدا وما قضيت علينا من قضاء فاجعل عاقبته لنا رشدا وما قضيت علينا من قضاء فاجعل عاقبته لنا رشدا ربنا اغفر لنا ربنا اغفر لنا ولاخواننا الذين سبقونا بالايمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين امنوا ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للذين كفروا واغفر لنا ربنا انك انت ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للذين كفروا ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للذين كفروا واغفر لنا ربنا انك انت العزيز ربنا افتح بيننا وبين قومنا بالحق وانت خير الفاتحين ربنا افتح بيننا وبين قومنا بالحق وانت خير الفاتحين ربنا افتح بيننا وبين قومنا بالحق وانت خير الفاتحين ربنا اغفر لنا ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين. ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين. اللهم مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا على طاعتك. اللهم مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا على طاعتك. اللهم مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا على طاعتك. يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على طاعتك. اللهم يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك يا مقلب القلوب قلب قلوبنا على طاعتك يا ارحم الراحمين ثبت قلوبنا على طاعتك يا ارحم الراحمين ارحم الراحمين الحمد لله الذي بنعمته وجلاله تتم الصالحات والصلاه والسلام على سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا محمد اكرم الكائنات افضل المخلوقات اشرف الكائنات وعلى اله واصحابه اصحاب المقامات سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك لا إله إلا